uh, good afternoon and uh, those who are uh, new i'm uh, dr pawan murthy i'm from the who country office and i'm going to speak on behalf of cro region uh, so there are just uh, four slides one is on the lab status uh, there are key challenges uh, key needs and the way forward uh, that is how we see it uh, so coming to the cro region uh, uh, what is the status? Uh, of course, uh, we learned that uh, the acute battery diarrhea is in huge numbers. And uh, so there are uh, limited uh, diagnostic tests and uh, laboratory capacity, uh, especially at the subnational level. So if we have the states, then we have the blocks and uh, villages. So at the uh, blocks and villages, uh, we also have uh, limited uh, laboratory capacity. Uh, so here again, culture is, uh, of course, the gold standard for confirmation. Uh, the RDTs are used in uh, surveillance uh, settings. And the other methods such as uh, PCR, uh, the molecular methods, the toxigenics testing, serology, they are usually used more in uh, research settings uh, uh, mainly. Uh, and usually for the confirmation uh, is typically uh, opportunistic in uh, clinical settings uh, based on the capacity uh, on a fixed proportion of uh, acute watery diarrhea cases. There are thresholds and sometimes these thresholds are picked up and then we investigate uh, acute watery diarrhea uh, outbreak and uh, testing for cholera is uh, undertaken. So this is the general uh, overall status and this is the WHO collaborating center at uh, Kolkata. Now the key challenges uh, what we face is uh, of course the limited uh, laboratory capacity uh, for confirmation of diagnosis and uh, we also have a limited uh, diagnostic tools and uh, such as RDT and culture especially in the peripheral areas uh, so there is a limited supply, and uh, they also have to transfer, transport the specimen from the peripheral levels and usually to a higher level. Uh, in, in India, it is the district level. Uh, in other countries, it's uh, at the higher level. Uh, the use of PCR for uh, cholera diagnosis is not widely uh, adopted uh, due to lack of uh, trained personnel and the necessary uh, resources. So I think the challenges uh, is uh, definitely uh, there and we need to strengthen the laboratory capacity. Uh, we need to ensure the wide uh, availability of uh, diagnostic uh, tools. Uh, these are essential for overcoming these challenges and responding to the uh, cholera outbreaks. Uh, so what are the needs? Uh, of course, uh, we need uh, uh, funding, uh, the adequate funding and resources. And uh, as such, uh, in some of the countries, uh, it's still uh, limited. Uh, and even if we get funding, as we receive uh, in India from the Prime Minister's uh, fund through the World Bank, uh, even to implement uh, the funding it's it's a massive uh, operation because of various bureaucratic uh, procedures. So health system strengthening for laboratory is a longer process. It's, it is not as easy as uh, it, it, it looks. Uh, but we did get some funding and uh, uh, especially there. But overall in the CRO region, uh, there is uh, uh, we need funding and resources for laboratory capacity building. And then the procurement, especially for diagnostic tests and equipments is an issue. So we need to see how to ease that process, uh, WHO process and also the country processes uh, because there is a lot of, uh, it, it takes even time, the customs, the clearances coming from the states and all the procedures, uh, the financial procedures are quite strict uh, in the country. So the, and the, the third need is, uh, of course, uh, we need collaboration and uh, coordination among the stakeholders uh, to implement the roadmap. So if, if we have a diagnostic uh, roadmap, especially for the laboratory, 
uh, and uh, we need to see how to uh, do the roadmap for the acute uh, watery diarrhea control. So these are some things that uh, CRO region has uh, looked at to look at. And the, uh, and the last one is uh, the data collection. Of course, how timely we collect data analysis, reporting, and decision-making. I think this is crucial. Uh, it is improved uh, over a period of time, uh, but still there is a lot of uh, uh, need for capacity building in this uh, particular area. And I'll come to that uh, in the next uh, slide. And then the way forward, uh, we look at uh, uh, the needs and the challenges and looking at the needs and challenges. Uh, the first one is, uh, of course, uh, uh, we need to develop and implement the diagnostic uh, roadmap. Uh, that includes strengthening laboratory for acute watery diarrhea confirmation, especially at the subnational level. So this is the plan, uh, how we take that uh, forward, uh, more la laboratory uh, centric there. Then the other thing is the rapid response teams. Uh, of course, in the rapid response teams, we also have the lab component, surveillance component, and other components. How well the lab uh, component in the rapid response teams is equipped, uh, especially to detect, investigate, uh, and test the suspect cholera cases. I think this is very crucial because sometimes uh, they are not well trained and uh, we have issues in uh, transportation of samples, uh, especially to the laboratory and how they uh, collect the samples. So this is a crucial area in which we need to train the rapid response teams from the lab uh, component. Then the third one is, uh, of course, uh, planning, obtaining and uh, stockpiling uh, the necessary materials, uh, such as uh, RDT, which has been low, uh, sample collection supplies, uh, the laboratory reagents, uh, including in districts uh, not currently affected by cholera. So there are many districts with cholera. So if, if there is a cross-border uh, case to another district, they all have to be uh, ready. So I think it should be a holistic approach, uh, not only focusing on uh, cholera areas and acute watery diary areas, but uh, holistically, everybody should be uh, ready and uh, necessary stockpiles uh, should be available uh, in these areas. Uh, the fourth one is to train uh, the health staff of health staff especially for laboratory diagnosis and sample collection. Uh, here we are looking at uh, the case definitions, uh, if they are well through, because if they don't understand case definitions, uh, we again will be losing uh, uh, how to detect uh, these things. Then the cholera testing strategy, as we understood uh, whether this testing strategy is actually uh, uniform, available throughout uh, the region. So that's the other thing and the use of RDT. So uh, the way forward would be, you know, uh, looking at data collection, uh, the standard forms uh, to be used and uh, the data management and timely uh, reporting, investigation and confirmation of suspect cases in addition to sample collection and transportation. And the next one is uh, uh, leveraging the genomic sequencing, uh, especially to understand all the uh, acute watery diarrhea transmission uh, patterns. And uh, last but not the least is the quality assurance as we discuss the needs uh, of surveys and on-site visits, uh, et cetera. So these are uh, definitely needed uh, at the higher levels and at even at the lower levels uh, for testing and networking. Uh, with this existing capacities and also collaborating with the uh, WHO uh, collaborating centers. Let's stop here.